I've just been on this incredible food adventure here. I haven't gone hungry one moment throughout this whole trip in Ljubljana. It's just been dish after dish of incredible flavors. And the open kitchen is a great example of how awesome Libyan and cuisine is. If you go there on a Friday, it's from March to October, and you can see how big the food scene is in the city. So there's got a selection of over 50 restaurants serving multiple dishes, and you can only go there if you are number one. So it just shows you the quality that they have. For lunch, we're dining here at Druga Vinalina, which is located in the city center of Ljubljana, and they hire members of staff with special needs and serve Slovenian delicacies. Let's tuck in. And Ljubljana has many fine dining options as well. Uh, restaurant Lunderik, which we went to in the city of Ljubljana. That was a great example. Everything that restaurant has to be from Slovenia, not just Slovenian, but also organic Slovenian, like the best of produce that the country has to offer. And I think that's what I appreciate about really good chefs is that focus on detail and quality. And you can get that quality here in Slovenia. You can find it in Ljubljana. And staying on the farm stay was a great example of organic produce. Everything was served, was fresh from the farm. It was farm to plate. And you could taste the flavors, they're just outstanding. And they match the dishes to the season. And also the passion the chefs have to make these unique dishes and adapt to what their climate can produce. And then going to the mansion, we learned about how teas plays an important part in Ljubljana from going to the botanical gardens and picking all these rare flowers and creating these herbal teas, which is something they've been doing for hundreds of years. And you can still go through that process. You can still feel like you're in the 1800s with a count making tea like they did in the old days. And when you look at products like honey, such a healthy organic product as honey, and um, in Ljubljana, they have a real focus on bees and the well-being of bees. So we went to go visit a honeycomb where we could see the bees working in action. And that was amazing to try raw, fresh honey. It was just this amazing flavor. That's one of those like unique experiences you don't get to try every day. You go to a supermarket, you see honey on the shelf, but to go out and actually see the honey being produced by the bees was very, an amazing experience. I have a little bit of a phobia with, with wasps and bees. This is like my worst nightmare. Restaurants like Krik, which we had to travel through the valleys to get to for this beautiful drive. And once we arrived, we were nestled up onto this hill. And it's this restaurant that took us through a five course dining experience of all these different flavors. And the chef had just taken it on his own. He just come up with this, this weird dining experience that I haven't have never tried before, but that's why you come on holiday and want to try all these culinary delights. You want to do something different. Just outside of Kumnik, you can find the botanical gardens. And if you're up for a little treat, in the morning, you can book in advance a lovely picnic breakfast. Restaurant Repnik in Kumnik was a unique experience to try because the local chef had taken all the flavors from the local Alpine cuisine and also having a sommelier on hand which could, which could match the dishes with the wines. And that was a wonderful journey to go through because Slovenia is so famous for having such great wines and to pair them with local dishes that have been traditionally served for a long, long time was a wonderful experience. Going to Mardi Gras was great to visit a local brewery. They always have six beers on tap, which is quite unique for a microbrewery. And the fact that they've only been around for a couple of years and they started in a shed. Now that's a pretty cool story. Just a couple of blokes with a nice passion for wanting to start a brewery. 
and they're fantastic beers and it's nice to, to hang out with a brewmaster when he has a key. And that brings us to the end of our Libyana food adventure. And I hope you've enjoyed the video. I sure did as well. The cuisine was outstanding. It's a wonderful blend of Balkan cuisine, Alpine cuisine, and this wonderful fusion of food. It's been absolutely outstanding. And if you'd like to see more of the city of Libyana, be sure to click on this video here. If you'd like to see more of the region of Libyana, be sure to click on this video here. What are you waiting for? Come on, there's two videos.